Hi everyone, we're going to calculate the expected value of a probability distribution table. First thing you need to do is put the information um, from the table to the calculator. So we're going to click on stat, edit, and then we have list one, list two, right? So list one is going to be x, which is our random variable. List two will be our probabilities. We know that this table is a probability distribution table because the second column, which is the probabilities, those add up to one. Now, this example only has one variable, one random variable, which is x. Keep that in mind. So the next thing we want to do, remember, we're trying to find, we're trying to find the expected value, right? Which is a population average. So we're going to click on stat. We're going to click on calc. We're going to click on one variable stat. And now we're going to do second L1 for the random variable, comma, uh, second L2. And then enter. And now you have X bar 2.23. X bar usually represents the sample average. But in this case, because we're using a table and probabilities on the second column, this is representing also the population mean, which is mu. Another thing that might pop up why X bar is what they call the true mean or the expected value. Okay, the answer is 2.23 as the expected value. But what clue do you see here that we are dealing with a probability distribution table? You see anything weird? That's right, SX. SX, SX is blank. SX is going to be the, um, uh, the sample standard deviation. The sample standard deviation is for our sample. And because this is a probability distribution table, um, it can't calculate that because this is not a sample, but a population. Okay, I hope that was helpful. And um, please subscribe and be safe. Bye-bye.